Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a bigger plot twist than finding out the ice cream machine working at McDonald's. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean that literally the stuff that is coming out about Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast is absolutely insane. Sickers are also bringing in Dr. Disrespect into the story. Sickers are calling Chris Eva to be like Dr. Chris Respect, feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Now we're gonna change up, we're gonna shift up gears real quick for this one. And I really wish I could say psych right now, but guys, like, the same thing that happened with Dr. Disrespect happened again, but even worse. Oh, shit. So Chris Tyson used to be a brother, became a sister. I got a video that I wanna share with you guys, and we got a bunch of receipts out here that you will see what went down, but so yeah, brother became a sister, works for, works with Mr. Beast, and Sickers are also bringing... Very few people are also accusing of Mr. Beast, but I think it's more like, hey, uh, why are you friends with this creepy guy? Uh, that's uh, what most people are saying, but generally speaking, you know what I mean? Like, you cannot accuse... Many people, I, I believe there are many sane people out there that would not accuse uh, Mr. Beast for doing the same crap as him, unless there's, like, actual evidence and, you know, some crazy stuff comes out tomorrow, right? Then understandable, but see, the point that I'm trying to make here is that we're not talking about Dr. Disrespect into the story. Of course, he put out his statement, there's have been allegations, he put out his statement, there's that, there's this, there's that, that situation happened a month ago. We're still waiting for more stuff to come out, but... So yeah, here's the thing though, Tim the Tatman, Nick Merckx, right? Both of them are friends with Dr. Disrespect, and the Wookiees, and especially Chris Tyson, went crazy at Nick Merckx, right? Went crazy at Tim the Tatman calling them out and the Wookiees were calling out hey Nick Marex, Tim the Tatman you guys are probably hooking up with minors as well because you're friends with Dr. Disrespect absolutely insane stuff you cannot blame you cannot accuse of accuse a man for somebody else's action you feel what I'm saying so yeah there was a whole lot of that going around and, and guess what shocker shocker people that were calling out uh Tim the Tatman and Nick Marex, they're getting caught Today, so go figure. Check this out. Roll it. Holy smoke, Antenna. Chris, Mr. Beast, transition to Dr. Chris Respect. Nothing gets my knob a cranking like some lo <laughs> If you don't know what that means, that's good. That's a good thing. A lo is a young or young looking girl character that's animated. It hurts to say this, but Chris Tyson no. was caught literally begging somebody to draw him a 10 year old. But Your Honor, she's not real. She's technically a 4,000 year old witch in my manga. Ah. Shut the <laughs> what is up, Chandlers and chronically addicted gamblers? West Jet 65, Venezuelan trillionaire. Yo, what is this intro, man? What is this intro, man? Can I really get two pennies, though? Here and today, we're talking about Christison. Oh, and literally 0% of you are subscribed, so be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. In this video, I'm gonna... Yeah, like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. We're looking at Chris Mr. Beast as an individual. In no way, we're making this a transgender debate because this doesn't belong on a commentary channel. Watch somebody smart and enlightened like Destiny. I am the self- yeah, I guess we're not gonna ask for two likes for two genders and dislike for 5,000 genders. Okay, for this video, we're not gonna do that, guys, okay? Bruh. Appointed leader of the BLM chapter, Miami. Self-appointed? So. Yes. Anyway, jokes aside, this video went Obama viral, exposing Chris, and the thumbnail was crazy. She was only 14. Now, that Holy. insinuates a lot. I was getting concerned. I was like, damn, from Chris Tyson to Chris Hansen, unruly turn of events. On November 18th, 2017, Ava respond to a tweet from Grande. Why it gotta be like 2017s, dog? Yo, Dr. Disrespect in 2017s? <laughs> we got Chris Eva 2017s. Man, I'm convinced, Brad. 2017 was some dark times, bro. These were some dark times, Mr. Man. B stating, this is coming from a guy who owns a shad based drawing and has it as a centerpiece in his living room. I can't even show you this. This is some stuff that was found on Vosh's hard drive. It's pretty gross. Just some time later, they also posted the exact same drawing laid on the floor with the caption, bonus fidget spinners to throw some extra autism. He is not beating the degenerate allegations. It's one thing to be a little bit of a freak on your stream computer and start crying with your wife like Atrioc, but it's a whole other thing to be this public with it and having it as your centerpiece. Of course, you guys Wait get that it. I'm not trying to justify this shit in any way, but being this publicly depraved is insane. Like, there's levels to this, you know what I mean? A lot of Junior. parents are concerned Junior. about this and asking That's many Junior. questions. Chris Mr. Beast is very directly associated with the biggest... Holy crap, that is insane, right? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, Nickelodeon, if I'm not mistaken, that's from, yeah, Kid Choice Awards. There we go, Bumble Bumble Club, right? God. You know, so they had him at the, uh, at the Kids Awards. Kids Choice Awards. Bro, that's crazy, bro. 
That is insanity, man. With the biggest channel on YouTube, and Damn. he's this publicly depraved and weird. However, Damn. something messy was going on behind the scenes. In this Mr. Beast video, you'll notice a very familiar thing at the 9 minutes and 30 second timestamp. Nothing weird to hear, just to be the... Oh my god, bro. So yeah, that's Mr. Beast, right? Yo, he looking at it. And from what I uh, understand, this is uh, Chris, uh, Chris's room, right? This is Chris's room, so all the homies were in his room, and... Mr. P, <laughs> yo, he was looking at it. He's like, yo, what the hell am I looking at right now? Boy, straight up chill. Oh, the kid on the wall? Oh, ignore that. Ignore that. That's, not, that's just the centerpiece. But seriously, how addicted do you have to be to have it just blatantly up on your wall for all your friends to see? That is insane. The shocking thing is that Mr. Beast and Chris were roommates during that time. Yeah, this is nothing in comparison to the next incidents. This dude low-key made a cult classic. I'm gonna link his video in the description. It's like cinematic. I'm, I'm getting the tingles like a Netflix documentary. God damn. On April 16th, 2018, Avery replied under a deleted Shadman post saying, No Beast Boy trap, Shad? You've changed. What Basically, does that, What does that mean, bro? Was asking Shadman to draw art of Beast Boy, as Beast Boy was shown at different ages in the show. <laughs> Dog, are you serious? Can we? Can we <laughs> genuinely, what's next? Fred Flintstone? <laughs> Scrap that. He's too old. And it's not like he's sitting in his darkened room, blackout curtain dungeon with candles around him, waiting for the new art drop. He's there publicly begging for it. Once again, if he was in his dungeon, it wouldn't be okay either. It'd still be weird. I'm just emphasizing on his depravity. On January 17th, 2018, a person tweeted saying, Are you? Remember this growing up? Me too. Check it out at Chadbase. Featuring a photo of the four-year-old cartoon character Caillou with his mother. But instead of opposing it, Chris joined in and replied, Help, I need an adult. At this rate, the only thing he's gonna need is a get out of jail free card from Monopoly. Like from Beastie Boy to Caillou, how far does this rabbit hole hole go? Oh, Chris man. Mr. Beast, what are you doing? Just stick to the normal stuff like Gardevoir. I don't think there's any need to explain how crazy this stuff is. But what's even crazier is Ava's next tweet. Oh my god, it just uh -oh. keeps going. Maybelle and Dipper are 12-year-old siblings from a show called Gravity Falls. All of your favorite kid cartoons aren't safe from Christina Mr. Beast's draft. It's genuinely over. But the funniest thing of all is I believe Sunny V2 got the last laugh in this situation. The Chris Tyson situation could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast. Oh, no way. Oh, Oh man, so we got Sunny coming in, Sunny V2, yeah, I remember this video, so they, the Wokies went crazy on Sunny V2, I remember that, right? And, and yeah, Nostradamus V2, Sunny Nostradamus V2 right now coming in, having the last laugh, and, and yeah, seconds are going, no, I haven't seen too many people go crazy on uh, Mr. Beast though, to be fair though, but uh, yeah, the Chris Tyson, I mean, let's be real, complete disaster for, for Mr. Beast as well, right, like, Damn, man, that is crazy, bro. So brother became a sister. Then there's like a whole lot of this situation going down as well. It's brand. People didn't really like this video and accused him of transphobia and the like-dislike ratio reflected that, but damn. In the early days, he represented the quintessential Southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits. It's time to live my dream. Yeah. I still find it ironic how he's making fun of transgender people, calling them helicopters, and then transitions <laughs> himself in like a year yeah. or two. It's just, it, it, it writes itself, really. I don't know if y'all Listen, man, I love everybody, man. Like, I, I, I genuinely do. The jokes aside, though, like, if you're a cool guy, gal, like, I don't care, man. You do you, but, like, stay away from the kids, though. That's all I'm asking, man. Like, leave the kids alone, bruh. And, and the most ironic part is that, you know, Nick Marks was saying, leave the kids alone, and these Wokies had so much problem with it. So many problems with it, and now uh, we know why. I guess we now know why. I guess we now know why. We now know. Remember, why. but I find it quite funny how he was known as like this self-proclaimed meme god. It's even written on his YouTube's, and who knew he would become the meme himself. Mr. Beast defended Chris back then and said, "Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my fucking friend, and things are fine. All yeah. this transphobia is starting friend, to piss me off." Fucking well, friend, mate. Fucking friend, mate. 
According to Mr. Beast, things were fine back then too, so we really gotta hold what he says with a grain of salt, because now it's gonna be a lot harder to dismiss all criticism as just people being transphobic. It's a lot easier to label somebody with a word rather yeah. than actually addressing the criticism. Yeah. I'd argue yeah, yeah. Mr. Beast is the worst thing to happen to trans people probably ever. They should have mm. done a little more background research before almost propping him up like kind of like an icon. Like he's not beating the depraved allegations and you don't want to associate with that. I mean, it's mm. almost unbelievable that Ava Chris Tyson was tweeting this. This just reflects their personality and feelings. Okay, JCS Psychology, goddamn. The strange part is that they delete most of their tweets later on. This post not clarity kicked in. <laughs> In fact, Chris, Ava, whatever you want to call him or her, cleared their whole account on Twitter. But that was because Damn. Chris kept getting ratioed by... Damn, yo, that is crazy. Sneeko coming in. I be Okay, Sneeko says that I became my own man. You leased off one and still failed. Mad, Jimmy kept that. Okay, I cannot say that word on YouTube. Yeah, Nick Merckx actually got banned for that uh, on Twitch. Man, Jimmy kept, let's just say Transformer, kept the Transformer and not your loser. E okay, two question marks right there. And then Sneeko just ratioed, holy crap, I became my own man. You leashed off one and still fail. Holy crap, though, that is, that's crazy, bro. Like, that that's true, though. He's, uh, Sneeko is very strong and independent, you feel what I'm saying? Nico, so honestly, I'd delete my Twitter too. And I gotta emphasize on the fact, before the transition, Chris used to be a father. As we all know, he was also caught putting heels on his son, saying that he Damn. was slaying. Now, personally, back then, I thought this was a little weird, but now, with all the revelations coming in, Makes it could sense. be flat-out creepy. And I just want to say Makes this sense, to all the yeah. stupid people who can't critically think and think that all transgender people are out to get your kids. That is not true. Don't think that way. The conversation honestly gets stifled when people start to villainize each other and try not to understand each other's point of view, because let's be honest in real life nobody's this radical they're all on twitter sitting there with nothing to do in their basement that's true speaking that's true of well. basements just yeah get oh yeah, 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 yeah hey hey whoa 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 hey time out man time out time out tranquilo papi tranquilo but what was i what i was gonna say is that yeah on twitter it's like just uh, everybody's beefing 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 sick is wanna beef sick is wanna beef okay simple as that bro simple and nowadays youtubers be pulling out like <laughs> netflix like documentaries bro i i can't and brother just uh, deleted his entire uh twitter as well or tweets rather from his twitter uh or x as they like to as the the, the gen z as gen z like to call it nowadays right crazy story man like this is kidding insane. that's a living room you see the window the fact that violet was 14 and ava was a grown adult makes this even worse the surprising part is that ava wasn't just reacting to shadman's work they were friends or knew each other. Haters can hate all you want, but we all have a friend whose literal PFP is an SS battalion commander who draws freaking CP anime as a job. However, if you still think this is a coincidence, the next incident would definitely change your mind. How would you even think it's coincidence? Did he stumble on this website 17? There's another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. And, and apparently, uh, okay, in 2017, brother was still a brother, right? Like, he was still a brother, right? Like, uh, still a man, right? Uh... That, that's when I believe he was joking around, uh, or maybe before that, 2017, he was down bad. I mean, more than being down bad. I guess being down bad is for, like, you know, if you're, like, adult, you're down bad for another consenting adult, right? That's, like, down bad. This is uh, worse than that, right? So, yeah, he got caught with that, and then he became a sister. Now he's a sister, so... 17 times on accident looking for Jujutsu Kaisen leaks. Shenman posted a picture of a character called Raftalia from the Rising of the Shield Hero. There are two versions of her in the show. In one, she's 17, and in the other, she's 10. Not that it's any better, but I guess we know which one he'll choose. Please, Shad, please. Even if he fully deletes his Twitter account, this stuff is on the internet forever. Now the kid in the future is going to be dealing with the repercussions of his dumb dad. I kind of feel bad for him. And trust me, it doesn't get any better because the timeline of his tweets directly coincides with the timeline of his divorce. Now, I'm not saying it led to that or speculating anything here, but... It man, that is crazy, y'all, bro. Like, I'll just say, man, control your... Man, like, damn, bro. Damn, man. Control your urges, dog. Like... Control your BBCs, BWCs, the LBCs, LWCs. I don't care what you got, man. I don't want to know. But all I'm saying is that control your dragon, bro. Control your dragon, man. Like, his dragon led him to...
get rid of his dragon, bro. Like, oh, that's all I'm saying, bro. That's tough. I get it. But, like, his he couldn't control his dragon, so he got rid of his dragon, man. In a tweet that he just deleted, Chris from Mr. Beast, who recently announced he's transitioning to be a woman, says he likes... Uh, oh, crap. Okay, so that's what it is. Which is a form of anime P in which the female characters are depicted as... Crap, man. Or even, uh, yeah, many, many such cases among these types of men damn homie that that's crazy so that was tweeted back in 2016 and, and yeah like his kid is forever fatherless now so the kid lost his father too that that's crazy man like damn bro like you, you you're leaving your own kid like that bro that that and your wife like that damn man but i mean to be honest though like his wife could have stayed with him or her and kind of could have had like a sister right you feel what i'm saying like Bruh. like you know two sisters chris uh, and then the wife right eh, mm -mm, strong independent style right but yeah i i get it that's not how it works so it's just a little weird coinkening. While they were dating at the time, and this might have had an impact on them, the divorce was far later, so uh, my fault. I did some research. While Sunny V2 wasn't exactly right, the outcry that's coming from this is insane, and I'm just curious how Mr. Beast will deal with it. Will he handle it out of a PR point of view, or more of like a human point of view? Unfortunately now, I don't believe he can just call it transphobia, wave it off, slide it yeah. under a rug, and call it- I, I think, realistically, he's not even gonna respond now. He's not even gonna say anything. He's not gonna say anything because this is uh, insane, right? It's really, really getting worse. So I don't think he's gonna respond because if he responds, what is he gonna say? Either he's gonna be like, okay, I'm denouncing, uh, like we're not gonna work with Chris. If he does that, he's gonna um, offend the, the, the Wokies, right? And that's not gonna look good on him. And if he protects him, that's also not gonna look good on him. Let's be real, so. So yeah, I, I think this is gonna, he's not even gonna respond. Realistically, he's not gonna respond. Of the day, we'll it's kind of weird and he's sort of like complacent in a way. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris. Exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. D exactly my point. Exactly my point. Uh, my point. He, he cannot just like kick him out like that. You know what I mean? Even if he wanted to, uh, to though, he couldn't though. Cancelled. If he don't, his channel will die for real. An inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing. But I, I still don't think his channel will die. Uh, I don't, I don't think like he produces. Uh, I haven't seen his uh, any of his recent video in a long time. Uh, not, not because like I don't want to. It's just that the videos never came in on, on my my homepage, right? But whenever I do watch his videos, I like him. I, I do like him. I'm gonna admit it. I, I do like his content. But I'm not gonna be comfortable. Uh, uh, like if I'm a I'm not a parent right now, but I wouldn't be comfortable like showing his videos to my kids. So I'll, I'll say that. I'll be honest, man. So especially if uh, Chris is around, though. I, I got nothing but love for everybody, but like, damn man, like when you go, when you're doing crap like that, bro. So if if I got a kid, like I'm not, I'm not letting my kid watch that. I'm gonna make sure his ass is on PlayStation 2. Yeah, man, I'm gonna hook him up with a PlayStation bruh. 2, bruh. That just like how my daddy hooked me up with a PlayStation 2 all the way back. Now I'm saying he's gonna be, he's gonna be a respectful man or woman. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, if he's a man, I'll be like, okay, PS2, bro, and slowly but surely buy him PS3, PS4, PS5. Uh, by the time we're probably gonna have PlayStation 6, PlayStation 7, he's gonna play like the, you know, the ATV off-road, the Fury games, you know what I'm saying? The Simpsons, the hit and run, right? He's gonna learn. He's gonna see the progression of graphics getting better, but games getting worse, because nowadays, like, gaming is not that good, right? Like, uh, graphics have improved, of course, but yeah, right? Like, damn, homie, like, this is crazy, bro the drama this sunny v2 video quite frankly aged like fine wine and uh, chris mr beast if you're watching we have less subs than j average joda subscribe to the channel now like and subscribe and check out this video on the screen because recently we had some doctor disrespect uh stuff coming out this is our latest video that we uploaded check out this video on the screen if you're already seen it then check out the video on the left man